the rudiments of snare drumming are the scales of drumming and they're used in applying to all styles of music on the drum set. It's just as if I were a pianist and I were playing various scales and making up chords and melodies as a result of the basic tenets of the instrument that I learned. So here is a single paradiddle. There are lots of funny names in drumming, but basically they sound like their names. Single paradiddle is composed of two single strokes and a double stroke, and it reverses sticking upon repetition. So we have You've heard this rudiment played in very famous songs like Peggy Sue by Buddy Holly. If you have Peggy Sue. Okay, so there's Peggy Sue played by Jerry Allison on the drums using the single paradiddle. Another famous song is Wipeout. That was uh, played by whoever the drummer for the Surfaris was. And so the single paradiddle is extremely useful in developing grooves on not only one drum, but using it on the drum set. Now here I will apply it to the hi-hat, which is these two cymbals that click together here, and the snare drum, which is the snare that has the wires stretched across the bottom to get a raspy sound. And here is the single paradiddle in relation to those. If I were to add the bass drum and close the hi-hat, we could get something like this. So as you can see, the rudiment is directly applicable to the drum set. In my recent book, Melodic Motion Studies for Drum Set, published by Hal Leonard Music, I attempt to use the rudiments in a melodic format by voicing them on numerous parts of the drum set. I could take this single paradiddle and put each hand on two voices. By developing this little phrase. and then increase the number of voices used thereby developing a little melodic phrase by using the different tones of the drum set reminds me of Steve Allen at the piano when he would call for the audience to give him three notes and he would write a song around those three notes. So that's the basic principle of the book.